Okay, let's go right dog split. Send the knee over to your left elbow, straighten the leg out, fall in triangle number two. Left arm reaches up, breathe in. Now keep the leg where it is, but lower your right hand to the mat. Start to dial the back heel up off of the ground. You can stay here in this plank pose, or you can try to bend the elbows and lower halfway down through a chaturanga. Pushing back up, send it back, dog split, right leg high. Step that foot forward in between the hands. And then let's rise up to high lunge. Settle into the front thigh. Kick strongly through the back heel. Take an inhale. We're going to T-twist towards the right. Just open up the arms, pushing palms forward and back. And then take a gaze over your back shoulder to the hand behind you. Inhale, high lunge. Both arms sweep forward through and up. And then exhale, warrior two, anchor the back heel. Redeepen into the front thigh, front heel bisects the back arch. Long through the wings, soft in the shoulders. Flip the front palm, reach forward, tip back, reverse warrior. Check out your hand in the sky. And then just feel your hand on the back leg, which is nice and light. Take an inhale. Exhale, triangle pose, front leg opens up. You can place the hand onto the shin or to the ground, yogi's choice. Left arm reaches high. Feel the expansiveness of the pose. Legs are strongly rooted into the ground, engaged in the quadriceps. And the gaze is up. Next inhale, warrior two, bend the front knee. Let's reestablish, flip and tip, reverse warrior. With your exhale, side angle, elbow to thigh is great. Hand to ground is great too. Left arm reaches forward. Create that powerful long line of energy from the pinky edge of the back foot through the top fingertips. Gorgeous. Triangle pose, slide it back a little bit. Maybe the right hand is completely on the ground this go round. And then simply take a wide forward fold over at the side of the mat. So I lower my hands, I crawl them to the left. Feet are parallel to the short edges of the mat. Take a halfway lift up. Exhale, release it back down, forward fold, chin to the chest, roll up nice and slowly to stand, articulating through the bones of the back as much as possible. When you get to the top, shrug the shoulders, take your hands behind the back, interlace your fingers, make a fist, squeeze the heels of the palms together, lengthen through the elbows and gaze up. Breathe in. Exhale to hinge forward at the hips, shifting the weight slightly into the toes as you do so, and then bowing all the way down, pulling your fingers as high up and over your head as you can. See if you can relax the fronts of the shoulders. Maybe you need to back out of the pull a little. And then with your exhale, you pull a little bit more to see if you can create some space there. On your next breath in, let's lengthen up halfway. Move the right hand under your face. Reach your left arm to the sky so the heart is facing the back of your mat. Gaze up to the top thumb again. Now from here, try to lift your right butt cheek up and soften your bottom elbow. So you're not using the bottom hand to hold you up and also lifting that right cheek will help you to take the movement out of the hips and allow you to try to bring, bring it deeper into the spine. So stay, inhale. Exhale, heart rolls to that top thumb. One more breath. And then lower the top hand down. Take a halfway lift and forward fold. Exhale, release. Crawl your way to the front of the mat into low lunge. Things are about to start getting interesting. Standing split. Let the back leg lift. Maybe take a moment to plant the hands and then bow the head towards the knee. Let's take a halfway lift up, tenth the fingers, and we're finding supported warrior three. You wanna put your left hand somewhere underneath left shoulder. And then start to airplane wing the right arm up to the side, actually. And if you wanna go further than that, you can try to reach that right arm all the way up. Now, we might inhale to bend everything. Bend both knees, bend the top elbow a little bit. Exhale, reach, reach, reach. Kick through everything as straight as possible. Two more times like that. Inhale, knees bend, top arm lowers a little. Exhale, best as you can, fire through the limbs. One more time, inhale, a bend. 
and then exhale to expand out. Lower the top hand down. Step your left foot to the outside of the mat a little bit. Step the right foot wide, so we're coming into Malasana. Take a second, this is a resting pose for us. Hands at heart center, shoulders softening down the back. Let's find the breath, let's go three. Two. One. Hands to the ground. You can hop back to bent elbows, chaturanga. Maybe take a plank to a chaturanga. We'll upward facing dog. We'll downward facing dog. And here we are. Three breaths here before we start moving on our second side. Inhale, three. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen.